Okay, so Bitcoin yesterday got another significant pump towards the upside, directly towards a very important level of resistance. But in this video, we are going to talk about exactly what was happening yesterday on the FOMC meeting, why Bitcoin actually got this insane pump towards the upside. And on top of that, I also need to share with you a significant bearish divergence that is right now being formed on a very high term time frame on the RSI indicator. But first of all, what you're going to see, it really looks like that yesterday on the FOMC meeting, Bitcoin, first of all, grabbed a lot of liquidity below our previous low. Usually the market works that first we wrecked everyone, we got a break of our previous low, which means people that were actually holding a long position and that had stop losses below the previous low, stop them out, wreck them, and only then continue our way towards the upside. Now, why was our previous low right here such an important level, some kind of the support level on the Bitcoin price? Now, you can already see this level right here was actually the daily high term time frame level of support. Fibonacci retracement, we are going to go from our swing low to our swing high. It looks like we bounced literally to the exact dollar accuracy at our golden Fibonacci ratio. And on top of that, we can even go with our weekly pivot points right here. It was exactly at the specific area. Liquidity was grabbed, get everyone wrecked, get also maybe even some people bearish and only then see another insane pump towards the upside on the Bitcoin price. Now, what you're actually going to see on the 30 minute time frame when Bitcoin first of all grabbed liquidity below our previous right here it looks like we got open interest decrease which means money leaving the market people are actually getting wrecked and of course when everyone is wrecked only then we can actually go higher towards the upside now yesterday we were paying attention to our important level of resistance which was our golden fibonacci ratio from our swing high to our swing low it looks like our golden fibonacci ratio literally there was no reaction right here so no reason for us to go with any short or sell positions at this specific area bitcoin smashed through the level directly towards our daily and of course even higher towards the upside towards our weekly high term time frame level of resistance now let's talk about the volume right here where you're going to see on the one hourly maybe even on the two hourly four hourly time frame overall talking about the volume i would definitely say we got a volume increase on a push towards the upside which right now means that we might even be talking about our fifth and final elite wave towards the upside why so because if we are start moving towards the upside with the high volume increase maybe this right here is not a correction anymore like we were talking yesterday remember yesterday i actually mentioned to you that bitcoin could be moving in some kind of the abc correction but because right now the volume is so high on a push towards the upside maybe we could already say bitcoin is right now moving impulsively towards the upside in our final and fifth elite wave towards the upside now of course with our volume increase right here not only that people actually got wrecked with the stop losses right here when we grab the liquidity below our previous low but on a push towards the upside paying attention right onto the liquidations it also looks like insane shorts liquidation spike right here of approximately 13 million of short positions getting completely destroyed on a push towards the upside so what we can write to say bitcoin got a push towards the upside after taking the liquidity below our previous lows which means we grab liquidity we wrecked also short positions and on top of that we are seeing some kind of the bearish indication which is a characteristic of our fifth and final elite wave towards the upside what do i have in mind if for example we write and go on the daily time frame we can potentially already identify our five wave structure yesterday we were actually saying that bitcoin could be forming the fourth elite wave of course if we would actually go lower but at the moment it looks like because of the fomc meeting yesterday we got a push towards the upside and what we can say alternatively if of course bitcoin actually already formed our fourth elite wave right here we could say we topped out approximately at this specific area and this entire section right here was actually a corrective stage because as mentioned a couple of days ago the volume at this specific area was actually kind of low because right now we got the volume increase we could potentially say okay maybe the fourth elite wave was finished a couple of days ago at this level right here and right now because we are moving towards the upside with high volume bitcoin could already be moving in our fifth and final elite wave towards the upside and the important characteristic when we talk about our fifth alley wave right here is going to be bearish divergence forming on higher term time frames on the four hourly time frame literally for the past weeks right here we are forming lower highs bitcoin is forming higher highs bearish divergence all across the board right here also for example if you go on the daily time frame
game, we are forming lower highs right here. So bearish divergence on the RSI indicator is a characteristic of our fifth elite wave right here. And because of that, I would be definitely slightly more cautious, potentially taking the profits of our long positions. And later, of course, I am going to share with you where potentially we might be looking for a brand new short or a sell possession on the Bitcoin price. But right now, Thank you very much if you actually smash the like button because we also need to talk about even more bearish indications that are right now unfolding on the Bitcoin price. What we are actually going to do if we go with the RSI indicator on the daily time frame. Now, of course, we can all agree we are moving very, very high with the RSI indicator towards the upside. And also, I would say Bitcoin is moving towards the upside. And of course, we are trading at the overbought area. Now, what if we go on the weekly time frame? In my opinion, our weekly time frame right here on the RSI indicator looks even worse. Now, what you can actually see, we got the high on the RSI indicator when Bitcoin topped out at approximately 48,000 US dollars. And currently, we are definitely forming a significant lower high right here. Now, what the RSI is doing, we can actually connect our higher highs. And it looks like, yes, we are, of course, forming a higher high right here, but the Bitcoin price is forming a lower high. So if the RSI indicator starts moving towards downside, it's actually going to be hidden bearish divergence on the weekly time frame, which is a bearish Bitcoin indication. Now, why am I telling you about this bearish divergence right here? It's simply because I don't really want to throw out our bearish LA wave count that I don't think a lot of people right now even pay attention to. And that is going to mean we are right now still moving in our fourth LA wave right here before potentially going lower in our fifth and final push towards downside. Now, of course, yesterday we were talking about that our monthly cluster algorithm is already curving towards the upside right here, which definitely, historically speaking, was a bullish indication right here. However, because of the RSI indicator, and especially if the bearish divergence is going to be confirmed, in my opinion, it's not really going to be the smartest idea for us to actually say with 100% probability that the bottom for Bitcoin is actually in. Because of that, of course, I do have a bullish and also a bearish elite wave plan right here. And of course, our bearish one is right now saying it is our fourth elite wave before potentially we might expect another push towards downside on the Bitcoin price. Now, overall speaking, of course, on a lower term time frame, we are not releasing really any major sign of a rejection right here. Because of that, we could potentially, of course, still pay attention to our higher price target. So our higher target, if Bitcoin does go higher, of course, from our low right here, back to our high, back to our low right here, our next target we should pay attention to is going to be 1.236 Fibonacci extension level at 24,900 US dollars. And before right now, we do talk about why this area is a very important price target for Bitcoin. If you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with us, insane. Free bonus is right now available on the Bybit exchange right here. So make sure you grab the bonus, click the link right here. After you sign up with the form right here, click on Get My Walking Gifts. After initial deposit, you can secure up to 30,000 for free in trading bonus. And of course, if you're looking to trade Bitcoin in the upcoming days, in my opinion, Bybit with the bonus right here is a very good option to potentially maybe even fire a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price. So what we can right now see, 1.236 Fibonacci extension level is going to be our next price target if we right now talk about our fourth alley trade right here at 24,900 US dollars. Now, at this specific area, we could even go with our weekly pivot points where we are going to see that our weekly pivot point, our R2 level, is going to be very, very close towards our Fibonacci extension level right here. And on top of that, it's going to be very, very close towards our previous high, of course, because our previous high right here is acting as a liquidity level at 25,200 US dollars. Now, why, in my opinion, is our Fibonacci extension level right here such an important price target? Now, of course, you be the judge, but at least in my opinion, when we hit our previous target, which was actually our one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension level right here, we definitely got some kind of a reaction at this specific area. And of course, if we do go right now higher, our next target is also going to be an important one, which is at 24,900 US dollars on the Bitcoin price. Now, overall, because we got a push towards the upside, we are right now trading exactly at the top of our horizontal range. Going with any long or buy positions at this specific area, in my opinion, literally does not really make a lot of sense right here. I am more interested going with a short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price. Not only that, we are also trading slightly above our daily high term time frame level, which is of course at 23,700 US dollars. So what we can right now say, if Bitcoin does actually see some kind of the acceptance below our daily level right here at 23,700 US dollars, yes, we might expect slightly lower price 
price targets on the Bitcoin price. But would I immediately fire a short race sell position at this specific area? Most probably no, because we cannot really identify a five wave structure in our fifth and final LA wave. Of course, remember, each wave right here also needs to have five wave structure. And at the moment, I would simply say we actually got one, two right here. We got the third one right here. And of course, if we write to talk about our fifth LA wave, potentially we could already be expecting slightly higher targets to be hit in the upcoming hours, maybe even in the upcoming days. Now, as mentioned, our next target that we could pay attention to is going to be our Fibonacci extension price target at approximately 25,000 US dollars. But also, I would say, pay attention to the liquidity level that was formed literally a couple of hours ago, because what you can see, our weekly level, at least on the Bybit chart right here, still has not been hit. And this level is going to be at 24,300 US dollars, aligning very nicely with our liquidity level. Now, let's talk about also some other indicators that, in my opinion, are very, very important. What if we go right now with the cluster algorithm? We are also going to go with the RSI indicator on the four hourly and, of course, also on the daily time frame. On the four hourly time frame, we start trading at the overbought area and we do have a setup for a potential bearish divergence. And once again, what you're going to see, it was the high, it was the lower high. And of course, potentially, if we start curving towards downside, another bearish divergence on the cluster algorithm can actually be confirmed. Of course, the same thing is happening right now on the RSI indicator and also on the daily time frame right here, the cluster algorithm is already and still being in the overbought area. The exact same thing is happening on the money flow indicator, lower highs right here, also on the four hour time frame, it could be a lower high, which means we are forming a bearish divergence. But if Bitcoin right now is actually moving in an uptrend, and yes, we are moving in an uptrend right here, moving towards the upside with a very high volume, we are not looking to short blindly. We are not presetting our limit orders at the levels of resistances because we need to be aware. Of course, if we are moving in a significant uptrend right here with the volume increase, of course, respect the trend and expect that the trend is simply going to continue. That being said, expect that Bitcoin is actually going to continue its way towards the upside. We are simply looking for a sign of weakness at our level of resistance. And as mentioned before, we are right now looking if Bitcoin does actually go higher for a potential liquidity grab at 24,300 US dollars. If we do go higher, as mentioned, we are looking towards the area of approximately 24,800, preferably maybe even that we are going to take out our previous high right here at 25,200 US dollars for maybe even some kind of the liquidity grab right here. But nevertheless, we need to see a sign weakness. We need to see some kind of the four hourly red candle towards downside, maybe on the two hourly, maybe on the one hourly time frame, preferably with a volume increase, push towards downside, maybe start forming bearish market structure, first of all, on a lower term time frame. And only then I would be interested going with a potential short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price. If Bitcoin, maybe even in the upcoming hours, loses its daily level right here, I would still be slightly more cautious, except if we are going to see a push towards downside with a high volume, it could mean, okay, it looks like we topped out in our fifth LNP right here. And of course, only then potentially we might see some kind of a push towards downside on the Bitcoin price. But overall speaking right now, we are moving towards the upside with a high volume. We are able to see very big green candles towards the upside with high volume. And because of that, respect the trend, potentially expect that Bitcoin is going to move higher in the upcoming days, in the upcoming hours, simply because the trend is actually our friend. And thank you very much if you right now actually smash the like button. Make sure you do take advantage and grab yourself an insane bonus with the link down below in the description. Peace out.